Backstage, Austin's City Limits Music Festival. He's Stephen Jenkins. So you were, because of scheduling, in the right place at the right time. I think I was. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that whole lawn filled up. That was, that was a veritable sea of people. You had some idea that was coming. I mean, they told you Lizzo's going to be over here, or did you not? Because I mean, that, that's got to be wild to be on stage and see that. You know, it's it's an interesting phenomenon with us at festivals. Um, happened a few years ago. Um, the the people show up for our set. So oh, there was a considerable amount of people it was there lot, for you yeah, to begin with. Yeah. But then once you add the running over from Casey Musgraves to see Lizzo yeah. situation, that's where it gets. One step oh, I figured crazier. they were just there to see me. <laughs> Casey Musgraves, she's darling. I like Lizzo too. That was a nice triangle. We've talked about this. A bunch I really of wanted times to see over. Banks too. That was like, but Banks played at five, and um, that's kind of what I'm getting ready, you know. So it's a, right before we play is a terrible time for me to see bands. What goes into the getting ready part? Um, I stretch. I do some vocal warm ups. Drink some water. Uh, I um. We tell jokes. Then there's like a moment where we all punch each other in the dick. It's very important. Ritual. Has that routine changed over the years? No, we've pretty much always had a good dick punch. So we have talked about this over the years, but you're not surprised but surprised at the interest at this point 20 something years oh, later I'm, I'm, in your band. No, I don't take it for granted one bit. Um, I'm um, I'm kind of blown away. But what's interesting is like, you know, to our fans, we are a, we are an underground cult band. We're a, we're a we're an indie rock band. We've always been that way and we're camouflaged by some catchy tunes. And so what happens at festivals is we've got like our core our like there's the core comes to see us and then there's this curiosity you know, then uh, then there's then there's the people who are curious, and uh, we have this engagement with them. So there's kind of this like introduction uh, that happens, and what it results in is um, a, a lot of people at festivals. And then at the end, you've got a couple of bona fide hits to dig into the bag for, pull out, and then change. A couple, I have dozens. <laughs> Do those feel I'm made good? of hits, huh? Those feel good to have and use yes. when you want to, right? It does. It does. I, I, I mean, people say, like, you know, do you get tired of playing, um, you know, semi-charm life? And I'm like, of course I do. No, I'm like, I'm like I see it in people's faces, um, and the song is played back to me in their face, and that is a invigorating experience. So it, it and, and the other thing is, is that, the, the people who embrace our music, they're very young. They're, they're 15 to 28 years old, and they found us as a playlist. Um, so we're not dated to them. This is part of their present tense. So, um, you know, the, the, the millennials and the Zoomers, they keep our music alive. Um, that's, that's really kind of how it works. It's, a, it's lovely. With Stephen Jenkins at the Austin City Limits Music Festival, this record unapologetically pop, or just the couple things I've heard. What the new album? Yeah. Um, no, I think it's it's it's. We definitely wanted to keep it strange on this record. I wouldn't say screamer is pop. I think it's got a sort of a chaotic, big um, um, feel to it. But like, I definitely like the the math of good song craft. I just don't like I don't like it that the edges are taken off things i think i feel like right now we are in a we are in a um we're kind of in a dystopian time and a lot of music that's played right now is very um escapist you know it's all like but you can covering like the lbc yeah but like i want to fuck shit up like i want trouble i want to cause trouble um and i want my music to inspire uh people to to throw down and be fierce on the way that I've been inspired by people like Emma Gonzalez. She was um, a leader that came out of the Parkland shooting. Greta Thunberg, um, the, the, the student, adv student advocates um, who have like inspired me. I want to 
give Amplify to the feeling uh, that they've given me. That's what I'm feeling about. Right. I hope it's pop. I hope it's pop as fuck. Right after the, right after I guess Parkland. Yeah. We did a thing at Bonnaroo. Yeah. I'm not sure at the time. It may have been a different thing we did where we didn't yet know Trump was going to win. No, we didn't know. And now we're here where yeah. we are. Yeah. I mean, is it difficult with all that going on in the background to keep focus and also course. not to just turn into a protest singer, but also to use your voice? Yeah, so I don't write protest songs. I only write about based on how I feel. I only write music that um, is a response to an emotional dent. I mean, I never make essays. You know, I'm not Fugazi. Um, and there's a lot of songs on the Screamer album that are about the about the inner landscape. It's always about individuals. And, you know, the, the, the crazy duality that I think I'm trying to, to reach in the Screamer album is that in time, like in these kind of dystopian times, it, it brings out this radical sense of, of passion and humanism. It brings out these really amazing things in people. So I see these as kind of um, really like, even though, you know, we have a, we have a criminal conspiracy, uh, a crime syndicate that is uh, masquerading as a government right now. We have, um, a, the Republican Party have become just cowards. Um, the Democrats are, are um, paralyzed. And then there's us, you know, who are like filled with this like desire to do something. Um, and then I write catchy tunes. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to leave it with that. He's Thanks Stephen for having Jenkins. me. I really enjoyed this festival. <laughs> the Austin City Limits Music Festival. Third Eye Blind will return second weekend as well. From backstage at the Austin City Limits Music Festival with Austin City Limits Radio. I forgot we're on camera. <laughs> <laughs>